went to Yale with the intention of making a lot of money. Um, but I soon realized that money in and of itself wasn't going to make me happy. That's one of the things that led me to Ananda and led me on to a spiritual search. I've been living in India for the last eight years, traveling around, installing solar panels all over. You can't go there and not feel a need in your heart to want to help people. Conditions there are so bad. Sometimes the electricity goes off for days and you never know when it's coming back on. So we've been installing these solar panels and we've come to realize that solar panels in and of themselves aren't the best thing. We need a way to store the energy. We've been storing the energy in batteries and batteries are toxic and hard to dispose of and they constantly need to be replaced. This has led us to developing a clean technology which stores the energy in a magnet. It can be much smaller uh, and it can be much cheaper and it's also very efficient. So we can take the sun, it comes into the solar panels, goes uh, into DC current. That DC current is coiled around a permanent magnet and stores the energy in that permanent magnet. And then we're taking it out as a gross energy so that it can become 110 AC that you can plug your appliance right into. How does your spiritual life inspire your scientific creativity? These two things really do work together. They're not separate. When I feel that this is my work, then the inspiration is cut off. But when I feel that I can work with God and I say, God, what shall we do together today? Then the inspiration is always there. This invention that we're making, I'll be honest, we are doing it to make some money. Not a tremendous amount of money, but because I'm a monk, I'm not looking to make that money for myself. I want to use that money to serve the larger Ananda community and use the invention to serve the whole world. And in that way, I feel happier. We can probably define spirituality as, does it make you feel happy?